for that answer. The offshore wind industry in East Anglia is a great success story, and there are more and more examples of local businesses working all around the world. There is a worry that this may only be short-term and transitory as other countries set up their own local industries. I would be grateful if my right honourable friend can outline the strategy that is being pursued to ensure that the sale of UK equipment and services is a permanent feature in offshore wind global supply chains. So, so, yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, in 2020, the Prime Minister announced £160 million to be made available to upgrade offshore wind ports and manufacturing, uh, which has now been invested. Uh, we've announced £1.6 billion of investment in our offshore wind sector just last year, including seven new major manufacturing investments and two new offshore wind ports, creating 4,100 jobs by the end of the decade. And of course, alongside this, Mr Speaker, we have agreed the removal of tariffs on UK exports of products such as wind turbine parts. Uh, knowing that we are going to continue to grow and invest in our manufacturing as well as the service and support uh, aspects of the offshore wind sector, one which uh, the UK continues to be world-leading in. Garand David. Question 11, Mr Speaker. 